Many people are spending time with family this week. For the holidays, some people might not have the same opportunity. And for some, the holidays are even tougher because as a reminder, some loved ones are not here anymore. Our James Giles joins us now after speaking with an area counselor. James, where do, we, where do you start when it comes to getting a handle on grief during the holidays? Well, Bria, Dr. Stephanie Led at Love Out Loud Counseling Center says, it starts with understanding grief and knowing where you are in the process. Let says one way to deal with grief this time of year is by planning ahead. She says this holiday season, try stepping into some of the roles of the someone uh, who isn't here anymore. She adds grief can impact your physical health. You can experience stomach pains and even headaches from what's called grief fatigue. So it's important to practice self care during this time of year. Also, sometimes opting out of holiday traditions can be helpful also. Opt out doesn't mean staying at home in the bed and not talking to anyone, but really just a change of scenery. There's a lot of families now that are going to the mountains for the holidays. Some enjoy the cool breeze at the beach around this time of year. Um, sometimes the emotions are just a little bit too strong to, you know, be back at that loved one's home for the holidays. Let adds grief can bring up feelings of loneliness and maybe even suicidal thoughts. You can call 988 suicide prevention hotline if you need someone to talk to. Now, reportedly, the hotline is experiencing issues and not operating at full capacity. If you do have trouble getting through to someone, you can call 205-323-7777 to be connected to a local 24-7 crisis line. Bria.